Okay, so getting ready to fit the barrels, which is a big moment. So I've put well seal around the crankcase uh, deck, as it's called, the top of the crankcase. Put the then I've put the gasket on. You don't really need well seal on the on the, at the bottom of the barrels, but I always think, well, why not? The gasket can only go one way round. Uh, what I mean is, there's a hole. There's an oil way there. But the gasket is cleverly made with a hole on the other side as well. So if you do get it upside down, it will still <clears throat> be okay. Then I've, just for good measure, I poured some oil down inside all over the crankcase and all over the cams. I've doubly lubricated the cams with uh, um, engine lube, assembly lube. Then I've put the... Uh, um, piston ring clamps on I think there's 70 yeah 75 to 80 mil uh, 75 to 80 mil size clamps and they're on tight but uh, but not you know that but we can still move that one might be a bit tight actually uh, still too tight I'll have to loosen that one off yeah that one's okay this one's too tight I'll, so it should be clamped tight but obviously we need the piston um, the uh, clamp to move so obviously so we can put the barrels on so i'll check that in a minute i'm glad i'm glad i checked that because that's that's way too tight still then uh what i've done is i've put a little bit of oil uh, just a smear of oil inside on the barrels um now <laughs> i'm not going to go into massive detail about this but basically on older british bikes you have cast iron cylinder um, piston rings they're cast iron and what they're designed to do is they're big cast iron and they're big, what we call big fuck off rings. So they go up and down the cylinders and they scrape off, they smash all the little bits, all the little highlights of metal, those rings, they take them off. And so you don't actually want too much oil in here um, because otherwise the oil, uh, you know, it will stop the rings from bedding in. They, they want to scrape against the barrels to scrape the oil off. Uh, to scrape the metal off and bed in. On the other hand, I don't want these uh, them going rusty or anything before the bike starts, so I just put a smear. Uh, in fact, I'm probably going to wipe most of the oil off uh, before we uh, before we go. But that's that's a smear. Now on other engines, the, especially more modern engines, they have uh, different piston rings, and the way that the the honing uh, the reboring goes, basically as soon as they're in, they're done. But with older bikes, you do need they do need this bedding in period, you know, this running in period. That's why new engines you don't generally run them in because they're already done. But these are bored, rebored, and honed in a different way. Okay. Uh, right. Then I've got my two little bits of wood, um, that, and then I've just sat the pistons on them, so that will support it as we not hopefully support it as we knock the barrels down. I hope. Uh, okay, so I'm going to loosen that clamp off. I'm going to wipe any excess oil off the bores. I've put well seal on the bottom. I've also put more assembly lube on the bottom of the tappets. Uh, and I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I'm just going to loosen that clamp off. Uh, I'll get the camera set up. <laughs> just, and uh, I sort of laugh because I hate being filmed doing this job because it's it's always a, ooh, it's one of those jobs, no matter how many times you do it, um, it's always slightly, slightly nervous until we get those barrels down and you know you've not broken a ring and everything's okay. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. For better or for worse. <sighs> First ring going over, I think. There is um, like a chamfer on the bottom of the liners, so that the, which um, which sort of helps to squeeze the rings in. It's not like just a, a, a you know a straight edge. Take it down as far as we can. Although there's always a problem getting the uh, piston ring clamps off past the. Uh, Studs.
Right, just take the barrels down. So, there. They're just over the gudgeon pin hole aperture. So I know that they're low enough down that we can take the clamps off. So I'll try taking the clamps off. Like I say, the problem is getting them past these studs on the on the uh, mouth of the on the mouth of the crankcase. <laughs> no, we can't ease it out because it won't go past the other piston ring plug. How are we going to get it out then? If it's too close, I'm going to bend the ears in a bit. Yeah, I can't see how else I'm going to get it out. I'm going to have to bend the, these ears in a bit so that they'll get past the other piston in front. There we go. Bend those ears in a bit. There we go. So we've got that one out, so then the other one should come out easier because the other piston ring clamp is not is now gone. So it should be in its way. There we go. Put it past that stud at the front. Yeah, more. Yeah, there we go. And then bring it out between the pistons. You should do this time because the piston ring clamp's gone. There we go. Piston ring clamps are out. <coughs> Damn, so I've got a bit of a, a bit of a lurgy. Not not bad, but you know, could do without it. Right. Lift the barrel, make sure, yeah, doubly sure that we have actually <laughs> got the barrels. I should have mentioned before, make sure we get the barrels around the right way. <laughs> That'd be worse than putting them on and then realising, hang on, they're around the <laughs> They're backwards. Just put them down a little bit, just to make sure they don't accidentally slide off. Right, and then pulling out my bits of wood. If I can, there we go, without damaging the gasket. Come on. There you go. Then. <coughs> oh, there we go. The pistons have decided to go down. So then I'm just gonna yeah, just gonna locate whoops. Just locate them over the studs. Remembering that uh, uh, you know you, you can't get the nuts on. If you put the barrels all the way down, you won't be able to get the nuts on, so don't put them on all the way down. Good. So they're on. What I'd like, I'm trying to do, I don't know if I can, just put it by hand. I want to try and turn it to get the pistons up the, more the top of the barrel. Come on, baby. Just bring them up a little. So they're nearer the top. So there we go. Good, good. The barrels have gone down. That's okay. We'll just have to lift them back up a bit. Uh, probably just put a couple of the nuts on at the back because uh, yeah, we'll put the nuts on at the back first because uh, we've got to lift the barrels a bit to get the nuts on. But whew, barrels on, sort of generally, uh, sort of phase one. And then we'll get the cylinder base nuts on and uh, then we're good to go. Whew. Yeah. Uh, I think that's gone well. Uh, you know, it's always uh, a little bit stressful, but, um, you know, it's so good to get the barrels on.
you know, it's just such a landmark getting those barrels on. And, you know, they look so good. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll loosely get the nuts on. Then we'll turn the engine over a bit. I'll just check that everything's nice and smooth. It feels good at the moment. Just check there's nothing wrong. You can you can feel if there's something wrong with the rings, but I think we're fine. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> 